All right, so welcome back. Uh, we have paid off our debt, and they want us to go to Rize Harbor in Marksburg. However, we are going to complete the side quests that we have, because I believe if we don't, we will not have the opportunity to do so after this chapter. So, we have these two here that we're going to do. So, one in wherever, and one in Fenmont. Uh, these ones are not going to bother. I did hit gold rank. Uh, I just did a bunch of these white quests that are kind of repeatable. They just kind of pop up every now and then. Uh, to change up once you complete them all. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go and head... Oh, I just want to grab this little orb over here. Okay, so let's head to Mila Shrine. Oh, my apologies to have kept you all waiting. Sorry to have troubled you to bring me the guy's dumpling. Only the spirit climb of this region is stable enough for us to be able to take form. Very well, but why did you want Gaia's dumpling in the first place? Through Mila we learned the joy of eating, and we were interested in trying one. We heard too many rumors about these dumplings. Oh, what kind of rumors? A delightful something. It's the Gaia's dumpling. Touch it, pet it, eat it, share it. Two layers of sweet and one of sour too. Just one bite and it takes hold of you. Hail the king of sweets, all hail the king, all praises to be the guy, or be to the guy is dumpling. <laughs> I hate that it's stuck in my head. That's the song Wingle made up. I tried to make revisions to it, but he ignored my input. No time for rhymes, no time for puns, get your hands off those sweet buns. Ligger, I think that's her cue, give them the dumpling. I concur, anything to get them to stop singing that ridiculous jingle. <laughs> Why, this is exquisite. There's a faint hint of cinnamon with high notes of nutmeg and such a full-bodied finish. This is the richest, most deca decadent morsel I've ever eaten. What a perfect way to finish any meal. Such depth of flavor. Sweet, then tart, then sweet again. And I detect a faint hint of orange zest. Yes, yes, it is orange zest. Such a substantial dessert as well. It's rather filling for its petite size. A home without one of these is hardly a home. This product receives my full endorsement. It's a smash. Ah, uh, isn't it nice to hear, guys? Yes, wonderful. But I have to ask, is this really the reason you summoned us here? Not entirely, no. Our true purpose lies with you, young Ludger. There's something we must tell you, Scion of Kresnik. Along with Mila, we too have been watching you up until now. You've endured so much from Origin's trial, and now Kronos as well. As spirits ourselves, we want to apologize. We're sorry. Please accept our apologies and our regret. You've managed to display some commendable strength, though, despite your small stature. Strong-willed, yet not stubborn. Kind-hearted, yet not so easily manipulated. You've got backbone, a human-sized backbone anyway. I believe lending you our power is not an error in judgment on our part. Mila, we trust that you will use our strength to guide Ludger and overcome Origin's trial. Although I think Mila and us alone would have been enough. Heck no, we need Ludger too. Looks like the four have taken a liking to you, Ludger. Perhaps, but let's give the credit where credit's due, shall we? They only like you for one reason, my boy. My dumplings, of course. What? <laughs> oh, Gaius is a troll. He just always has those one-liner zings. Spirit Zillia outfit in Mila. And we got spirit haircut for Mila. A lot of art tomes. Uh, let's see. What is this outfit? Mila's already got a ton of outfits, because I got her, um... Yeah. Oh, wow. That one's... Okay. And I like the spirit haircut, too. Which looks completely different. I like. I like quite a bit. Is it the Maxwell attire? And we have the color variation on that. I got that. This one we got from gambling. Swimwear. This one was the DLC from the first game. Oh, uh, not the. It was I got it for pre-ordering or something. Uh, but we'll go with the Spirit Mila. I like. Also, I did get. I gam. I was gambling in the bar or whatever in uh, Duval, and I got stuff for. Ludger as well, this gambling outfit, but I really don't like it. It's 
pretty tacky. And I got the gambling haircut, which makes him look pretty sleazy. So I don't really like it at all either. So we'll go back to the basketball hairstyle. And uh, got also this number two jacket, which isn't bad, but I actually like his default the best. I like the tie. But the basketball one is the best, the one I like the most. Um, also got no jacket for Leia. Forgot about that as well. So we're using that just because we got it. Not that I like it very much. I like her color variation better. The no jacket one isn't that nice, but alas, it is what it is. And then Jude's got a bunch of stuff as well, so. And Alvin, he's using his casual attire, even though I have no jacket, which is pretty nice. Uh, is yeah, I don't like his Tales of Zillia one outfit that much. I liked it initially, but this one's way better. Anyways, we'll go back to casual attire because it looks nice. Although this is from the first Tales of Zillia, um, but anyways. And guys, it's obviously we already shook guys. Okay. So that was definitely a quest worth doing because we got a lot of uh, Mila outfits and things like that, and my favorite one so far. Um, now I guess we'll actually. I wanted to go back to uh, Triglef because I had, I paid a lot of uh, my debt back. I think like three or four times. So let's see if we got anything good out of that. <sighs> Negative. We got nothing. Oh, but we got a skit. What kind of fractured dimension is this? I never cease to be surprised at what's possible in these fractured dimensions. It makes you wonder how many other dimensions exist that we don't even know about. It's a shame that we cannot coexist with these fractured dimensions, but are instead forced to destroy them. What sort of fractured dimension would you want to keep around? Hmm. I would like to visit a world of pig monkey shrews. Huh? Pig monkey shrews? Is that a hobby of yours? Not of mine, no. My sister is quite fond of that sort of thing. Oh, that's right. I remember Carla saying she loved animals. Pig monkey shrews, huh? It would be fun if they evolved to a point where they could understand human speech. Talking pig monkey shrews? That could indeed be interesting. As long as it's your fantasy world, why not have them fly and breathe fire and be strong enough to pulverize rocks? Those are also conventional. Perhaps some sort of eye beam attack. And they could speak with a colorful accent. The conversation has taken a very strange turn. Might be best just to stay out of this one. <laughs> that was pretty good. I see Mila's still kind of a troll in her own right. Okay, so let's head over to Fenmont then and hand in. There we go. Uh... Okay. This job is for a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Oh, we got a chef's hat for this one. Nice. Um, and nothing else here. Okay. So where is this anyway? Uh, what? We have two character quests in this area. All right. Well, we'll go and hand in the one at the harbor first. They're always coming back with rare items. Something's fishy in Fenmont. All right, let's check out this skit. This city sure has changed. It feels, I don't know, liberated? The stifling atmosphere is gone now. Stifling? I never realized it felt that way to you. It wasn't just the city. You seem stifled, too. I did? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Jude still seems stiff to me. I'd like to see him get truly liberated. I could use some liberation myself, if you know what I mean. What? Come on, guys, seriously? Hmm. But Jude is nowhere near as stiff as he was when we first met him. Ah, uh, but he could still ease up a little. How can he be free when he's still holding back? Beautifully put. You two come together on the strangest topics. <laughs> they make an amusing pair. I suppose that's just another thing that's changed. 
I suppose so. What does my party comp even look like? Eh, it's alright. I've what always nice liked breeze. Alvin. He plays nicely, but... All day here. The thing is, is Jude is... Or, Ludger is so varied in his combat that I... I have no reason to not use him. He's got like the three different weapon styles and whatnot, so I mean that's why I haven't really swapped the other characters. I did quite a lot more in the first game just because they all had kind of their unique playstyle, but ligger has got a lot of versatility going for him. And that chef's hat is pretty gross, so I don't think I'll ever equip it, but anyways, let's get her done. Is that Mabu Curry I've heard so much about? Thanks! But you know, you kind of took your sweet time getting it. It's fine though, it's all good. I mean, it's not like I actually expected someone to bring it in the first place, but, you know, it makes me feel like maybe you didn't really care all that much, but it's fine. It's just, you know, in the future, you know, with other people, just that some people would care about that sort of thing. I mean, I don't care personally, I'm fine, but yeah. Uh, what a strange way of saying thanks. I'm sorry, I spent a long, I spent so long working on my recipe for the ultimate fiery dish that it's made my very speech very, rather fiery. So, I apologize for wasting my breath on you. I shouldn't have assumed that you had refined enough pl uh, palates to appreciate my life's work. Yeah, this guy's pretty fiery, alright. Hey, just out of curiosity, what is this ultimate fiery dish you're working on? Uh, why do you care? You wouldn't appreciate your genius if it was standing in front of you, declaring itself to be the true genius, what? which is what I'm doing right now. But fine, I'll share my recipe with you. The ultimate in fiery cuisine. The Mavo Curry Bun, 14 habaneros. Three ghost chilies, infused with a sesame seed bun, smothered in spicy mavo curry, and seasoned with weapons-grade pepper spray. Served with a side of wasabi chili pepper mayo. Just hearing about it gives me heartburn. Mmm, absolutely intriguing. It's a dish that personifies the very essence of human desire to reach their limits. I dare say the depths and layers of that dish truly are worthy of taking up the mantle of human ambition. What? Impossible. You're even more impassioned about food than I am. I've never met a woman like you before. My dear, would you care to join me for a glass of porridge wine while I gaze upon the night sky in Fenmont? Though, not too much wine for me. I fear I'm already rather intoxicated by the entree in front of me. What? I liked him better before. I'm going to go ahead and decline your invitation. I'm flattered, but I find your proposition to be one note as unsophisticated as your wine pairing selection. Unbelievable. Again, your fiery wit has bested me. I've been deflated like last week's spicy souffle. Another victory for the Lord of Spirits. Alright. Uh, so let's go report that. And I don't think... Oh, we got a chef outfit for Ludger. And we got a trophy item fanatic. Excellent. And our cats have returned. Hey, not bad. Um, so let's check out this outfit. Although I doubt I'll use it. Actually, I like... I like... <sighs> I hate the slick back look. I don't like it. Do not like. Alright. We'll go with the chef for a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we'll get rid of the glasses though. I'm getting tired of them. What else can we give him? Probably have to do hat style. There we go. What other hats do we have? Tomato badge. Good. Look, 
completely different person now. <laughs> Alright, moving on. So let's just double check. So we have Fenmont, two character quests. I thought it was only one, but it's two in the same place. Um, Alright, so let's go do those. Uh, I guess we'll start with the one at the inn. I'm really actually, I really like Mila's outfit that we got for her. It's really nice. Let's hand this in. Perfect. Uh, and it looks like we've got Alvin, so let's see what he's all about. Farewells and Resolutions, Chapter 4. Ah, it's you. What's up? Uh, you don't look so good. Really? Don't know why. I'm just the same old Alvin. I thought you were done with lying. Duty calls. Better get that. Department of Dimensional Affairs here. I'm calling because we've detected a new fractured dimension. Knew it. Better hightail it over there and smash that thing. Yes. Please do. <laughs> I've sent over the coordinates. We believe the rift is in Nia Kara. I'm counting on you. That Vera is all business, huh? Well, let's just hurry up and get to it. <sighs> yep. Wonder what sort of divergence catalyst will be waiting for us this time. I'll be crossing my fingers that it's not some giant monster. I've actually just realized that I want to change Alvin's cap color. Oh, he's got a lot of different haircuts. Let's actually remove his hat for a second. Default hair. Zillia hair. Hmm. Swimming hairstyle. No, I don't like that. Jacketless haircut. No, I don't like that either. Jack of this one looks bad. Azilia haircut's nice though. Nice and short. Alright, Alvin, we'll do that for you. And the aviators are great, so we're good. I just don't want him to have the same hat as Ludger. That actually looks not bad. He's got the. Hmm. I guess with this hat, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, anything with the hat doesn't look terrible. But we'll go with the gambler outfit for now. And we'll remove the tomato badge because we don't need that. Alright, so we're good. Alright, actually, the outfit is growing on me. Oh, the looker's got really skinny legs. But, anyways, <laughs> let's head over to the fractured dimension Foxtrot 4235. So, this is. Nia Kara, right? Over there. Hey, check out Press's ring. Yeah, it's, that's the. <laughs> Did she get engaged? <laughs> Maybe, but I'm pretty sure we're supposed to destroy it. But why is Alvin with her? This dimension. It's from the past. Me and my pals over there are about to attack Jude's group at the Nia Kara Holomont. Then my two companions will fall off the cliff. If things play out the same way in this dimension, the Divergence Catalyst will go down with them. Probably. We better not let them leave the city. I'll lure Press over there. It's the only way. How are you going to do that? I'll just pretend to be me. Should be easy enough. Let's split up for now. Go wait at Mila's shrine. Be careful. Mila's shrine, really? <sighs> I don't remember how to get there. I'm hoping the game will guide me. Is it through the, it's not through the Zagat Flip Pain, it's through the Nia Kara Spirit Way. Yeah, that much I remember. Alright. Okay, so 
So actually, this is a decent point to stop, so next time we'll continue on with Alvin's story and see how easily he can lure Pressa to where we want her so we can destroy her engagement. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.